too far. The Eminence and Shadow fandom. Now, this is your boy Rock Lee. He has a massive anime reacting channel, but he has a separate channel called The Rock Lee Show. Now, I think he's doing a little bit of a rant. You know, this is called Heat Starts. Let's see what he's got to say about the last episode. Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Rock D. Lee. Uh, yeah. Today, we're going to do a different type of video. Uh, after the recent comments and takes I've seen on oh. 559 versus Rose, and I'm not going to encourage you to watch this video. First, I'm going to warn you not to watch this video. Warn? If you have a weak heart. What the fuck? Is he about to, I mean, we're just watching anime. What is my man going to say? Hold up. Susceptible to emotional <laughs> trauma that causes you to uh, uh, have a heart attack. Uh, if you have suicidal thoughts, I warn you, don't watch this video. If you oh. have a bitch made, I also... I think there's a lot of bitch made people that were crying in his comment section. I don't know who they were crying about that this video gonna be good. I sincerely warn you not to watch this video. Um, if you're used to me on the Your Boy Rock Lee reaction yeah. channel, you're yeah. used to a different side of Lee. No matter what you thought, that was always a reserved Lee. So this is like his alter ego. Just like on his main channel, he'll be nice to everybody. But on the side channel, he's like, fuck it new audience i'm gonna go crazy and when i give you my take on rose and this 559 uh controversy i've been listening to okay you might hear a lee that you're not ready for when i release this lee out the cage even i myself am not prepared for what lee might say or do i am aware of the talking points i promise you okay i have thought about it we have thought about it together but when okay good he's thinking he's thinking get going it might get absolutely crazy that being said, I could have also completely given you this warning for no good reason. And I just won't know until Lee gets to talking. So with no further ado, if y'all are not subscribed, go ahead and freaking yeah, do so. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> go like this video, go sub to his channel. I'm sure most of you guys are already subbed to his channel. Nine side, you are not with me, and you was bitch made. And let's talk about <laughs> why y'all should be loyal. To Okay, the video here. Okay, the intro. Look at this. This is called the timestamp, right? Of when the video section. That was the intro. This is called Heat Starts. Oh god, the shirt's coming yeah, off. Freaking go, Rose. All right, so let's get a couple things straight. Disclaimer: In my opinion, I don't know. I'm not sure what he's gonna say, but to me, from the last episode, is Oriana a traitor? Yes. She went against the mission. We're trying to defeat the Cult of Diablos. Her protecting her mom is obviously a traitor in. 559's books. I can objectively agree, but who am I going to side with? Obviously, Oriana. She's trying to protect her fucking mom. Like, are you serious? Who, who, like, who wouldn't do that? that? That's pretty much my take. If you're a manga reader, you're going to be in a different category because you know things that the rest of us don't know. Yeah, so shut the fuck up and let us rant. Well, from an anime-only perspective, let's get into it. Rose versus 559. So, okay. The, the argument that I keep seeing people say yeah. is that... This better not be some bullshit power scale. Like, oh, this girl's better. Oh, this girl's stronger. I hope he's going to talk about the story points and the difficult decision that Rose had to make in protecting her mom and go against Shadow Garden. Rose basically disobeyed orders. Good. And this is some military shit, right? Good. That, okay. That would be a no-go. True. It is a no-go. This is, you know, strict military. I mean, Lambda trains us, you know, was like a drill sergeant in like the finale of season one. The whole point of Shadow Garden is you're stripped of everything, literally and metaphorically, as you can see by Lambda going like, shh, shh, and then the burger wrapper gets cut up, Rose's clothes gets cut up. Now she's part of Shadow Garden, a new identity, and your only purpose is to pretty much simp for Shadow. Obey the law. That's how Shadow Garden works. But you can't compare this to a military operation or any sort of... I think you can, but you can still acknowledge what Rose did was was against what the military should have been doing. But if you had context of her protecting her family, her mom, she had to kill her own dad. Now her mom, presumably her cheeks are getting clapped by Perv Lord Asset, mind you, okay? This is the only family she got left. I don't blame her for trying to protect her. Of any of, 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 of military group. Let me explain to you why. Let me explain to you why. Why, explain. Do, why do people join the military? Explain. Okay, we're gonna get back to eminence, but people join the military. Okay, 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 okay. So we're going to we're gonna start out. Why do people join the military? Okay. To be honest, maybe hot take, maybe super hot take, but I think a lot of people join the military out of desperation because they're from a, like a place of poverty. They can't afford college. They can't afford to go to better education. You know, they can't afford to take these loans out. They are already from an impoverished background. So what do they do? 
they see the fucking you know commercials and blah 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 and the advertisements saying hey if you go to the military you serve your time we'll pay for your school so even if people don't have the nationalistic you know um impulse to protect their country whatever like i think people are just going there because they have no other choice this is their only way to kind of like make it is my opinion on the most people joining the military i think not a lot of people join the military because they're like oh i want to protect my country no it's i think it's a lot more different than that protect their home and to protect their family that's why we have a volunteer that's how a volunteer military force works at Volunteer military force? I'm not sure what the difference between that and a traditional person, like a new kid straight out of high school that's despairing because he has no future and has no money to like make better himself, and that's why he joins the military out of like a promise that tuition and all that shit's gonna be paid for. Maybe different things, right? At least in the states. If you come from a different country, I want to hear your perspective. So goddamn it, if I join the military. And one of my early operations... Maybe I should say, you know, people that actually joined the military for the noble causes, everything that I'm not saying that I didn't mention, like, no disrespect to them. For sure, people can join with the good intention of protecting their country. I gotta sneak my family or watch my family get sneaked. Then I'm gonna sneak my family. Of course, we're gonna side with mom. I have to ask you guys, why am I in this organization to begin with? Why am I in the military and to begin with? Why am I here to take down the cult of Diablos? Why did Rose join Shadow Garden, right? Compared to the other girls, she probably has a much different or like uh she has like completely different intentions. Now, at the end of season one, she pretty much becomes a fugitive, right? She ha literally has she can't be in the public eye anymore. She was also gifted powers from Shadow. Now, what is the uh, what what is the what, how, hold up? How did she get recruited? Did Alpha? I'm I'm forgetting a little bit of details here. Does anyone remember at the end of season one how she even like joined Shadow Garden? Because we know she got gifted powers directly from Shadow. But then did was it what Beta, Alexia, and Rose? They were in like a trio alliance. And remember when Oriana took out Alexia in that duel, whatever. Beta at that point is now aware of the presence of Oriana. Did then Beta then tell Alpha? Then Alpha recruited. I'm not sure something like that and then at the end of season one we see them arriving at the hq alexandria and the lambda doing the stuff so she was scouted right she was scouted but then it's like why did oriana accept well she has no other option right she's a fucking fugitive now she either joins this you know operation and in hopes that we could honestly like now if we join this operation there is a potential that we can you know do stuff for uh, the rose kingdom right so her goal isn't really to like simp for shadow even though she does her goal is to Get, capture her country so it kind of makes sense if that means i gotta sneak my mother or watch my mother die why am i in it for sneak the mother makes now, sense let's talk about emma's shadow okay we obviously knew when rose joined the organization they told us or she was told you have to forsake rose all the other jazz so yeah we, we get that but let's talk about rose's character real quick i don't know nothing about this five feet nine girl she's sort of a one episode <laughs> oh the fuck up <laughs> what did he do? He just said, I know nothing about that five foot nine girl. He intensely said that. Five five nine? Well, like five foot nine. And people want to act like we wasn't riding with Rose from the get go. You know what? I got to know how many of you guys was not fucking with Rose when episode 18 ish dropped. Let's, to let's go back into Rose's story, okay? Are there a bunch of Oriana haters? Like, straight up, are, are people saying that or it's Oriana's fault and, you know, 559 did nothing wrong? I think he's getting a bit baited or maybe he's intensely doing this because he saw the outrage in the comments and it's probably not that big of a deal, but it'd be made for, you know, fun content idea. But I don't think people are actually blaming Rose for this. So Rose uh, was a princess and she's put into a bad situation, right? Because they're trying to marry her. Her dad is being controlled as a puppet mm. and uh, it's over for her. Okay? So as far as I'm concerned... As far as I'm concerned, yes. the story is low key about Rose. I don't give a damn what any of y'all want to say. As far yeah, I mean the whole plot right now is driven by recapturing the Rose Kingdom. Yeah, as far Oriana. As I'm this story is about Rose and her ascension. Until yeah. Until I'm told otherwise or proven otherwise by the homie, by by anybody. Fuck it. Anyways, so Rose is she was she was she's princess in the goddamn kingdom. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. She was put in a bad situation, right? True. They're trying to sneak her because they're trying to marry her off or whatever. True. And she was absolutely put in a hopeless situation. You guys saw her hopeless. That's rock right. Freaking bottom. So hopeless that her only way of having some kind of therapy, right? So having some kind of salvation was through looking at a burger rapper that Sid gave her. That's the only thing that kept her going, which is insane. Okay. And the homie Sid came through, Lord of Shadow, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh.
No, I am not trolling, dude. Rose, Oriana, last name, first names, I don't memorize that shit. I just say whatever sticks with me. Now it's it's the point where I'm just flipping back and forth. And now every time I say this shit, you guys make comments on it, which, which boosts the engagement. Hope Thorpe with the power up. Personally, by the way, Sid gave Rose yes. a power up personally. Which no other girl gets other than the Seven Shades. And now we know 559 and 666. Those nine people, very special. So she can go out there and just live her freaking ambition. I actually don't understand how or why she got into the Shadow Garden thing. I guess they saw her and like, oh, yeah, powers. So you mm. have to be part of us. Alpha Scout, we just talked about, right? Remember, Beta was also there with as Natsumi or a different alias, right? We have Alexia, we have um, Oriana. They were all part of like a trio alliance. And then, you know, Oriana got their powers and they all disbanded. But then Beta was aware of that. Alpha's now aware of it, recruited. Now you're joining us to, I guess, recapture the Oriana kingdom. But as far as I was always concerned, not always. As far as I'm concerned right now, she is supposed to more or less be an independent agent of eminence, okay? Of Sid. Yeah to yeah. live her own goddamn story. But Alpha and the other girls are trying to control her and fulfill their own narratives. Hold up, hold the fuck up. Wait, wait, hold up. We're getting, we're getting a little heady now. So now the problem is Alpha and Beta and their own narratives. What narratives could that be? I'm not really sure. Well. Right now, the goal is to capture the Oriana Kingdom. Hold up. I think Lee might be reaching just a little bit. I don't think Alpha and Beta has some kind of narrative that they want to fulfill. I think this is just a coincidence that we happen to, like, recruit her. We are aware that of her, you know, involvement with the Oriana Kingdom. She's got the she's a goddamn princess, you know? The reason that she was chosen for the mission is because she understood the secret passageways and stuff like that. We, were, we learned about that last episode. But are they doing... Well, let's, let's see him explain the narrative, right? Let's see him... Well, what is the narrative? And even when we're watching this previous episode, even though Sid is about to go sneak her because okay. she's not going according to Sid's narrative, it was always supposed to be her narrative. So anyways... I'm a little confused. Hold story. up. Hold up. So Alpha and the other girls are trying to control her and fulfill their own narrative. Control her. Control. He's not, probably not wrong about controlling her. I mean, yeah, giving orders, you know, making her do things that Shadow Garden wants. That, that is controlling. It does make sense, but I'm a little bit confused in the narrative. And then Sid's narrative. Hold up. And even when we're watching this previous episode, even though Sid is about to go sneak her because she is not going according to Sid's narrative. And Sid's narrative is, how dare you get married, Rose Senpai? Now, you no, you need to be the tyrannical queen of this place because I think that you killed your dad so that you could... <laughs> Become the queen of Oriana Kingdom. I think that's what Sid thought last episode, right? He didn't understand at the end of season one when he was present, when he killed the dad. He didn't question. It's like, holy shit. Why'd you kill your dad? Now he's asking himself these questions. It's not, it's not like, wait, that your dad was, you know, possessed by Lord Pervassan and the cult of Diablo. So you killing your dad was like a sign of like, setting him free, you know, showing mercy. Let him finally be free from all this shit. But it's like, Sid's like, no, you killed your dad to be the queen. Damn, you're a tyrannical queen, Rose Senpai. That's cold. And now he's like, how dare you get married? I'm going to get you back. It was always supposed to be her narrative. So anyways... She's sent on a mission, or yeah. she's on a reconnaissance mission, yeah. to go scope out her family. She is there for two reasons. She knows the layout, and we're never given a second reason. And we got this hating ass oh. girl, 559. Well, there is a second reason, I forget, but the layout is a thing. Okay. Hating ass girl, 559. As soon as she's introduced with yeah. Rose, she's talking shit, telling her she ain't worthy. She talked about how the seven was... She was super salty, I think, because she seems to be one of the greatest supporters of Shadow. And now, this may be a little bit of a spoiler, and this is some Master of Guarding content. Sometimes we play, master, we watch Master of Guarding content, and we saw this video here, Victoria's Real Strength. A little bit of spoiler, kind of tells you about Victoria's background, basically. And spoiler alert, Victoria is like... She already belongs to like a cult because she is from like a religious background, and she, she was like some kind of... I, I forget what the title of it was. But she was like an intense church member, like super intense, kind of scary, kind of really scary. So now that God has been replaced by shadow, in my opinion. Right. And now she 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 is so cult like for shadow, her, her like her feelings, her her belief, right? She, her love for shadow that she can't possibly 
a proof that another bitch got special treatment. Like me. No, no, no. It should be only the seven shades because there were the original seven. But then I am very special because I got direct power. But you're telling me this blonde bitch with curls got powers too? No, I need to check her right now. I think that's why 559 is very hostile towards Oriana. And then compound that with the fact that Oriana disobeyed orders, right? Kind of doubles down on why Victoria hates Oriana. Chosen and given their powers directly by Sid. And that she is one of them and Rose is mm -hmm. one of them. And yeah. she won't check Rose because she thinks Rose is weak. When I yeah. hear that. Yeah. She talk about being worthy of her master. When I hear uh. that, I'm like, oh, as far as I'm concerned, Rose deserves a seat at this table just like y'all other ladies. Agreed. True. Absolutely. I agree with that. But y'all not giving her that respect, which I can understand okay. because she's emotionally in turmoil. So as we get going here. That, I think the background information also kind of adds a little bit more. Her, like, cult-like, I don't know, her personality. But she is in emotional turmoil, I guess. She has been super depressed the entire time. Does that play into the fact that 559 is looking down at her? Maybe? Would she even know? Maybe? Yeah? At no point in this video do I ever think that Rose is emotionally sound. She's not. She's not, yeah. She's not. In the video, you just immediately see her. Like, I'm commenting about her fucking white color panties, and now uh, she's in bed crying, and I'm like, oh, shit, I feel bad. But she is depressed. She's almost never been as soon as this shit with asphalt, perv asphalt, something asphalt, something lord asphalt. <laughs> asphalt? <laughs> Ass <laughs> I don't know if he's saying this intentionally or not. Loki hilarious. Lord perv asphalt? Bro, we need to fucking wipe his ass on the fucking concrete for him to turn into asphalt. But yes, yeah, it's perv ass hat. Whatever the hell his name is, as soon as that plot point was revealed, all sweetness, everything about a perfect life, all went to shambles. Like, yeah. Only law. One second. <laughs> One piece reference. Fucking shambles. <laughs> like I was just saying, right? Whole Isn't that law's hat? Whole life of the sh shambles. This girl is living the best life with the most strongest people in her general kingdom, and shit just went south for her, okay? So. Rose had no business mm. in that particular mission because she was emotionally too close to home. True. And anybody with any competence of leadership would have known this girl was already a wild card. So He's making a very good point. He's making a very good point. But she also is very necessary because she has information about the layout of the hideout, right now, the layout of the place. That's the, the Oriana Kingdom, after all, and Rose is from there. But to bring a girl like this to your mission... Who even thought this was a good idea? So who should be at fault here right now? Probably whoever ordered this group to go there, which is going to be either Alpha or was it Gamma. I'm not really sure who made this order. So if your argument is Rose has been a wild card and we don't know about her being in Shadow Garden like that, I would have actually been okay with that. I'm just and saying you're right. this is not the episode. You're right. 559 personally asked 666 to be included in the mission. First of all, because she had the powers from Shadow. And the second reason... To confirm if she's stronger than me or not? I don't know. Something like that. So, first to turn on Rose to support this 559 girl. Because 559 should not have had Rose in this type of mission where she's too close. You spring up a very valid point. Right now, we're building up the foundation of this argument. It's not Oriana's fault. It's fucking 559's fault. Now, I don't know what the comments were in his video, but I'm sure they're, they were all blaming you know, Oriana for fucking up the mission. But if we think about it, who even thought this mission was good in the first place? Because back to that military structure, back to police structure, that's what they say. Hey, Johnson, you can't be on this case. You're too close to home. This is too yeah. close to home. And we see it every time. Oh, I'm going to be in this case. Shit happens. Yeah, it's like family members die. And then you're like, oh, you know, you, you can't have people on the case because of revenge. And, you know, personal matters would then suddenly start to obscure the judgment. Therefore, people that are too close to the mission personally are just like taken off. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Usually it works out well because that's just how uh, media or television. I just wish that he kind of posted com some of his comments the, the of the ones that he's responding to. But I guess if you do that, it gives the haters a bit of more like validation and more reasons for him to like for them to start hating and write comments like that, which might be a good thing because then he could just farm that shit. And this could be like a new structure of content that he can make. Intends to work itself out. So anyways, she should never have been on this mission. Them other two girls, listen to them. They were saying, this is supposed to be reconnaissance. Yeah. What's 559 doing? She's going out there sneaking people. And the first... Huh. It was supposed to be reconnaissance. Why did we fucking jump in and fight? What?
Weren't we supposed to sneak around? Because the key was there. Because the key was there? 559 saw the key. We're trying to get the key. Right, right. Reconnaissance, yes. But reconnaissance to find the key. And then once we find the key, it's like, no, we're out. We need to sneak that key. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what happens. First person 559 went to go sneak is Rose's own mother. So people are saying yeah. that Rose should have followed orders. Oh, if this is the military or whatever. So y'all would let the military sneak your own parents? Now, he's making a very good point. Y'all would let the military sneak your own parents? Hell no. Hell no. I think we can definitely 100% condemn the fact, the fact that Rose protecting her mom, you know, kind of goes against the orders. You know, we're, if, if you think about it, the mom is getting her cheeks clapped by Lord Pervasa. She's probably in on it with this bullshit. You know what? The mom probably just deserves to die too. That's what I, the feeling I'm going to get in the next couple episodes. I'm not sure where the mom's headspace is at, but I think that she's a conniving evil bitch too. And it's even more fucked up if you think about it because now Lord Pervat, Pervasat, who's clapping Oriana's mom's cheeks, is now being married to her daughter. You know? So what the fuck is the mom thinking? I don't even know. But regardless, you can definitely condemn Rose's action, but at the same time acknowledge the fact that anyone would go against the military orders to save their own mom in this kind of situation. 100% makes sense. If I think if you just say it like that, no one could argue with you. Who the fuck could argue with a statement like that, right? You're pleasing both sides. You acknowledge that Rose is going against the orders. At the same time, y'all really gonna let the, or like y'all gonna let these people sneak your mom? Like really? Parents, you choose the organization, military over your own parents? The fuck out of here, man. He's right, he, he's now, right. This is what I said. This is what I said. People would get offended, okay? Because in order for me to get this take, I can't hold back on how I feel. I love y'all, man. Don't take this personal. You know? I don't think this is even a hot take. I think this is how everyone's feeling, right? Like, do you guys actually think, like, Rose is, you know... I, I don't think a single one of you is like, oh, how dare you protect your mom, Rose? It's like, yeah, understandable. You're going against, the or you know, the orders, but makes sense. Yo, what does Lee care about more than almost anything? I'm gonna tell you, it's money. We love <laughs> Money. Yo, no, I talk views, 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 views. Don't get. Hey, 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 I, I was gonna say money, right? Because I mean, I, I, everybody loves money, but then that's kind of rude. But then he said it himself. I mean, okay, that's what he has to say. Okay. I mean, no underrated anything. Uh. So you guys know I like money. And yeah, me I too. Pick hard earned money. Yeah. And I support. And Mr. Shot, I don't support everything. The reason why I always hype up the few things I support okay. is because, of, oh, that's why he feels this strongly. He don't feel strongly about many things. So when it comes to this, you might see a side of me that you're not used to. So okay. that's why I'm so passionate about this, okay? So I love y'all. Uh huh. Right? But there's no way I can. <clears throat> what? Where are we going right now? What's happening right now? Okay, the jacket's coming back on. What, what are we doing? Get that arm in there, boy. Yeah, that's right. The hat's off. Hey, man! Or do the fuck up on me! Hey, guys. Hey. I'm here to tell you guys why I think your take is not very I think this is just, you know, this is the unfiltered Lee you're seeing, you're seeing in this channel. This, you know, you're not gonna get this bitch made, you know, PG 13 Lee that's gonna, you know, please everybody. Okay. Here's why. Okay. You guys are being awfully mm, unfair to the homegirl Rose. Okay. You, think you guys are on the wrong side in history. I can't bring Nah, to say fuck you. I think that I'm right. Fuck your YouTube comments. I can't bring him out, man. I had to pack him up. Let this nigga out. And tell y'all guys what's good. So, how am I ending this video? Because y'all like... Right, I don't know. You're mad. You're angry. Like, uh, end, ending this video? We're like barely, we're, we're like 55% of the way in. What do you mean? What do you mean? You're sweating. Don't shit in the studio. What's he what's saying next? Point? What is your point? I'm going to tell you what my point is. Okay, well. I'm going to cover up my man boobs <laughs> What are you doing right now? I'm insecure about this shit. You need to work out, homie. I'm trying to suppress it. Suppress it wearing a bra. If you wear a bra, bro, if, if it fucking straightened the man tits out, then then the man titty, you know, it wouldn't droop down. So if you wore like a man bra or some shit, you know, it just kind of like sticks the booby up, anyways. Corey, one day I'm gonna get rid of it. My girl like it. End of the day, I get buzzy. <laughs> <laughs> what, 
Where are we going? Where? Okay. A girl loves that. I get the nipples got sucked on. But okay, what are we doing right now? Anyways. Okay. That was insane. Oh. So. Yeah. Rose. Eminence and Shadow. Emotionally disturbed. That's right. That's she right. Has problems. And I wish the best for her. Okay. She entered this mission already not stable. I haven't seen Rose stable since all this shit broke out with. I don't know, having to kill her dad? True. For the kingdom? Haven't seen this girl emotionally st uh, uh, stable. So there's that. This 559 girl, I've only had about two minutes of screen time with her. Does he hate her? I don't hate 559. I understand why she's doing this. She being cold, she's ruthless. She tried to kill her mom. Like, that's, that's the first thing she did as soon as she saw her. It's like, fuck your mom. But it makes sense she's doing this for the mission, and honestly, I don't blame her. I think you can acknowledge that what she's doing is like pretty evil, you know, to Rose, but it makes sense. So she's gonna have to prove herself, but she's crazy. Yeah, she is crazy. She's crazy. She is really That's crazy. That's the crazy one. And that nigga Sid, he's gonna enable her to remain crazy. Mm. I got no problem with that. We already know how Sid is. Okay. This dude beat the fuck out of Alpha, right? And Alpha was just trying to help her, him. <laughs> And was trying to steal goddamn money from his own people. <laughs> True. He did throw Alpha off the train while Alpha was sobbing and crying and saying, begging Sid not to go. And Sid's like, <laughs> great acting, Alpha. Goodbye. Oh, so sometimes, fuck him too. But there's no point in being. He's right. He's not wrong. He is right. Because you already know. who gives, He don't give a fuck. So that's just it. So anyways. Yeah. Where are we going? crazy ass girl. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Leading missions, in my opinion, she has no business leading, okay? And that's just that. And then you have an emotionally disturbed Rose, but her emotions and the reasons mm -hmm. why she is so up in the head is all things that are relatable and make sense. Yeah, no one's blaming her. Why like that, girl? Oh, I had to kill my dad for the survival of the kingdom. You know what? That would fuck me up, too. Got it. Girl, why are you not following orders? Why are you out there protecting that woman who looks just like you? you Is this his comment section? Is that what people are saying right now about Oriana? You even have the gold Goldilocks in the same fucking pattern as you. Why are you disobeying orders to go protect her? That's a mom. And I already lost my dad. Yeah. So I think that's tr totally like understandable. Uh, people are not actually arguing, you know, that Oriana is a traitor because of this, right? So I think that's the only person I have in this world. Yeah. That's a good ass reason to disobey orders. If I Makes sense. Reason, you go out there, girl, and you protect the goddamn mom. That's the situation we're in. Yeah, that, that is it. That's exactly so, it. I'm 100% not turning my back on Rose. And even if Sid got a problem and wants to go sneak her next episode, that don't mean I'm going to go blindly support that dude either. Because I was 100% supporting the homegirl Alpha. And I'm glad things worked out. I guess he's kind of upset at John Smith last arc too, huh? By the way that he's talking about it. He seems to be pretty mad at Sid. This guy's an idiot. I mean... If you take this show super seriously and dissect his behavior and what he's done to these girls, that, you know, specifically Alpha in the last arc, kind of really mean. Like, extremely mean, if you think about it. Then again, everything did get cleared up with a note, and he was just fucking around. But still, Rockley is bringing up a good point. He's a fool. Jesus. If you're working for him. Yeah. You might have amazing power to conquer the world. Okay, so but. Even though I said he's an idiot and a fool, I would happily take his power and work for him. <laughs> Motherfucker. But he was 100 percent join at 667 so simply. Bro, he was so easily joined it. It's okay to acknowledge your bosses. We all have bosses who are idiots. My whole is Sid an idiot? Yeah. Yeah. He just stupid so you can't re get invested in this bullshit. Yeah. It's not, it's not supposed to be taken seriously at all, right? He is trying to be... All the stuff, the, the shenanigans he does is pretty stupid. Yeah, true. The whole crew knows I'm an idiot. It's nothing... It's nothing to be ashamed of. It's not a bad thing. Many bosses are idiots. We're all idiots. I don't know how they, they, they got to the positions that they're in. Oh, it's like, I actually do know why. Bosses who are idiots... Often end up in the very nepotism. Situation. Nepotism? They just hire your son. Become idiots because they're so idiotic. They would take risks and make decisions that normal people wouldn't do. And based on the the rule of percentages, something's gonna work out among these idiots.
You fail upwards. You just gamble, you make shitty decisions, you fail upwards. Yes. So they just stumble onto a good thing. And the smart people follow them because an idiot can't keep it together with about, without a bunch of smart people. So that's how it works. Idiots try things that the smart people don't want to do because they're mm. smart. And they're like, that's This is an interesting tangent, but he's right. You know, smart people will probably take the safe route. Idiots will be more risk, you know. Uh, he, they'll, they'll likely take more risks and they might just end up fucking doing it's it. It's crazy. I'm not going to do that. Idiots are like, <laughs> I'm not going to listen to anybody. Well, they don't have the competence to understand why you shouldn't do it in the first place. So they do it. Goal chasing. And then what the idiots do? One thing most smart idiots know is, well, I'm not smart enough to manage this stuff. Hire other people. To something good. We hire somebody with a master's degree. Yeah. And someone that has impeccable memory. And they will help us keep this operation together. So anyways, where, where are we going with that's this? That's the end of my video. That's the end of my rant. Okay. If I've offended you, I what? apologize. This video actually ended up... I doubt the people that would have been offended were even still watching. They didn't even click on this video. More tame than I expected. And I'm glad for that. So the next time you see me, I'll probably be much more calm and docile. Mm. I appreciate you guys for listening. I feel like he should continue with his persona on this channel because this is not him on the main channel. And him doing this is like a different side to him. This alter ego like rant style videos might actually do really well. If you disagree, I welcome it. I think I'm calm. I don't think I'll make another video. Why? I'm just, I'm just going to move the fuck on. Now you should keep farming this topic. We have a reaction channel if you're new here. So subscribe. Yeah, we know. Anyways, like this video if you guys did. What do I think about this situation? I think that, okay, first of all, I think he made this video as like a good opportunity because obviously a lot of people were probably saying some dumb shit about Oriana. And 559, she's too hardcore, but we know why she's hardcore. Is she in the wrong? Okay, when we say in the wrong, we're talking about rules of the organization, Shadow Garden. For the sake of the mission, Rose is in the wrong. 559 is absolutely correct. If you bring out, and what did Rockley mention? Oriana is mentally unstable. Who brought this bitch onto the mission? 559 did. So whose fault is this? The leadership is in fault for even placing her on the team. And on top of that, you, you, you're you going to expect Rose to not do anything to save her mom? Like, hell no. Like, it makes so much sense as to why she would go against the orders. So you can condemn Rose and her actions and say, hey, you betrayed the organization. But hey, don't worry about it. It's your mom you're protecting. It makes a lot of sense. I think a lot of people who are sensible are going to agree with this. Nobody's thinking otherwise. I don't think so. And Rockley's new channel like this, new type of content. Hey, could be fun to just like rant like this, right? This new style of content. Maybe start doing well. I think it's pretty smart. Anyways, that's it for me.